Thank you for clicking this video. Today we want to talk about presumptions in law and I just want to quickly share three presumptions in law. These are rebuttable presumptions. Presumptions are uh, assumptions made in law as to the state of things until otherwise proven. So there are rebuttable presumptions, there are irrebuttable presumptions. Presumptions can be presumptions of law or presumptions of fact. But today we want to talk about presumptions of law. Presumptions of law are divided into rebuttable presumptions and irrebuttable presumptions. Rebuttable presumptions are presumptions that are true and are held true until otherwise proven to be untrue, to be false, to be not the state of things. But irrebuttable presumptions of law are presumptions that are spelt out in the law and are so and the courts would not even admit evidence to the contrary because it is held to be irrefutable. So I want to talk about three rebuttable presumptions of law today. The first one is presumption of marriage. It is presumed that once a marriage is celebrated, whether customary marriage or marriage under the act, statutory marriage between our two persons, they are presumed to be married until otherwise proven. Now, uh, that presumption can be rebutted by bringing evidence before the court to the contrary to show that the marriage was invalidated by one thing or the other. I've done uh, a video on uh, factors that can invalidate or void a marriage under the act. And it could be customary marriage as well. But the law presumes uh, a couple to be married once uh, we can uh, say that they have celebrated a form of marriage until someone comes and shows up and says that, oh no, uh, it wasn't the uh, presiding minister of the church that joined them, for instance, or bride price was not exchanged, for instance, as required for customary law, and the first one as required for statutory marriage. So there's presumption of marriage in law until rebutted it holds true that there's uh, uh, a valid marriage between two couples that are holding themselves out as being married. That's one. The second one is presumption of legitimacy. The law assumes that any child born within wedlock belongs to the man. Essentially, a child uh, belongs to the parents once such a child is born within wedlock. So uh, it usually affects paternity to show that a father is the rightful father of a child that is born within the marriage or that is born 280 days after the dissolution of a marriage. So except it is proven that parties have not had quotas for such a reasonable time to have forestalled such a pregnancy or childbirth, um, the child is presumed to be of the father in a marriage or of the ex-husband of a woman when the child is born within 280 days of the dissolution of the marriage. Also, a child born within nine months of the death of uh, a husband is presumed to be or belong to the husband. So if there's a couple now and the man dies and the woman is pregnant or gives birth within nine months of his death, it is presumed that that child belongs to him. So presumption of paternity, but it's called presumption of legitimacy. So any child born within a marriage is presumed to be of the man. Any child born 280 days, uh, within 20 days after the dissolution of the marriage is presumed to be that of the man. Any child born nine months, within nine months of the death of a man in a marriage is also presumed to be that of the man until the contrary is proven of course so it's a rebuttable presumption the third one is presumption of death so it is presumed that if a person goes away to a place unknown and the person is searched for and not found and you can count seven years after seven years the person is presumed dead so there's presumption of death in law it's uh, a rebuttable presumption if you can bring evidence to the contrary and uh, it's adduced before the court and, and it's adduced in evidence and uh, the court uh, adjudged it to be reasonable enough to decide to the contrary, it would be decided to the contrary. But uh, in the absence of that, there's a rebuttable presumption of the death of a person who has been gone and has not been found for seven years. Not that this person must have not been found by people who should have found them and they must have asked around from people who should have, you know, maybe caught a uh, sight of them or heard from them within this period. And once it can be confirmed that these people did not hear from this person, did not see this person within this period of time, after seven years, the person is presumed Dead. So today we talked about presumption of marriage, presumption of legitimacy, paternity in most instances, and presumption of death. 
and presumption of death. Those are the three presumptions, rebuttable presumptions of law that I want to talk about in this video. Don't forget to like the video, leave me comments in the comment section, and by all means, subscribe to the channel. I will see you in my very next video. Toodles!